And hello from the northeast of England. This is the scene here at the Riverside Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Middlesbrough versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Emre Can in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Thank you for attending today's game at the Riverside Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the match begins. Thomas now. Gabriel Martinelli. It's with Mikel Marino. Marino. It's there for him. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, we spoke to the manager before kickoff, and I'll tell you what, he had no idea about this, but it is his 150th game in charge of the team. Stewart's quite the milestone. Well, look out, Derek Chance here. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Over it comes. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. Lenormand. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, for Middlesbrough, it certainly was a good performance and result in the last match against Manchester City. What do you oh, Derek, big chance here. <laughs> and there we go. It is the ideal opening. Well, let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor. That's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And over comes the corner. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Right, Alex has an update for us. I understand somebody has scored at Elland Road, but who? 
It's a goal for Leeds United. It's now 1-0 with 15 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Chance to cross. Gabriel Jesus! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, a short corner here. Martinelli. Now looking dangerous here. Can they square the game? And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. They're making high pressing work for them here. How to play it goes. He was under a bit of pressure. Bravo. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Giving the ball away. It's going to be awkward for the goalkeeper. And there's the delivery. Not the best clearance. Got to it easily, the keeper. And he did well to cut it out. Martinelli. Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. And possibilities here. Determined defending. Saka. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Could do damage. What a save! Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Quite possibly a yellow card as their flow was stopped. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. A chance now with the corner. <laughs> Going short. Throw into Arsenal coming up. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the counter looks on here, options available. And great work to confuse the defender. Are they going to forge ahead? Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Mikel Marino. Lenormand. 
Martinelli. Marino, a glorious chance. Alaba. Gabriel Jesus. Safe, but still a chance. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Barella. Now shot happy here, and just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. And in with a real chance. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Needed to be more accurate than that from the keeper. And a throw in then. Gabriel Jesus. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Might really be able to trouble them here. Opportunity! Well, there it is. The half-time whistle is sounded here at the Riverside. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Borough making progress. Pedri has a go, and still an opportunity. And he clears it out of harm's way. He's made sure. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. And a chance, Udegaard! High echelon goalkeeping there. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Who can they pick out? And clears his lines. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Mensch. The transfer story that's been front and centre on social media. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And he's fired over the corner. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Good looking sequence. Spot on with that tackle. Well, the hosts have completely bossed the game in the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. Now, can they win back possession and create something else? 
Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV. Live, it's Middlesbrough against Wolfsburg. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Takes off the shots. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Pedri. And back with Thomas. Well, the power was there. Not really the placement, however. Goal kick. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Arsenal against Barcelona. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. And cut again from the flank. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper. But his radar was a bit off. But I believe there's been a goal in the Liverpool match. Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a third goal for Liverpool. It was a low dribble. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And an astute piece of defending. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities. And I'm sure the goal will come. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. Just to confirm, Liverpool did score in that game. A real opening now. Well, it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. And they're making a change. Pedri. Borough move it forward with purpose. Long way out, this. And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team a draw here. Well, not cleared away completely. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, the danger is still there. Keeper getting the touch. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Pedro Gonzalez, a very effective challenge put in. Can they grab the lead late on? Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Go, go. 
they could really get at the opposition. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And a goal to update you on in the Everton game. Alex Scott is at the ready. It's a goal for Everton. They've scored the opener here with 87 minutes played. What a game of football we have on our hands here today, Derek. Thanks for the update, Alex. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Mikel Marino. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Marino. This could square the game. Pedri. And back with Thomas. Tosin Adarabayo. Good-looking sequence. Firing is in. And a goal! They lead by two now, and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Mikel Marino. This is looking threatening. Could reduce the deficit. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play too. It's a good result for them. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.